Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? So I thought it'd be fun to go ahead and do another overhead video. Today we're going to be swatching all of my JD Glow Cosmetic Shadows. They're one of my favorite indie brand single shadows. They just do metallics so well. They have some of the most beautiful shifts and textures and their shadows are a little bit bigger. I think they're normally about like $7.50 each if I remember correctly, but they do sales all the time. I've gotten majority of these from 30 to 40% off. So I love them, I highly recommend them, and I just thought it would be helpful to do all these watches in one place. I do have a video previously where I went through and I talked about like the formulas and I just did a full review of everything I've tried from JD Glow, which I can link down below, but I've gotten a few shades since then, so I thought it was time to do an update. We're just gonna go ahead and jump right on in. So these first three shades here are their shimmer formula. I've got one of their matte formula and then this green and this entire row here is all their metallion formula. And then these last three rows here are their galaxy formula. So let's go ahead and start. We'll go with this shade right here, which is a really beautiful white, very sparkly shimmer. It is, like I said, their shimmer collection, but it definitely has like a texture to it. It's just not like a regular metallic shadow. And this is the shade below. Definitely has a little bit of a drier texture to it, but there's what that shade looks like. Okay, next we have this really beautiful kind of chartreuse green metallic shade that is called chartreuse. Very creative. Yeah, this one feels a little bit drier too. I do feel like normally I don't notice that much of a difference in shadows over time with powdered shadows, but their shadows do seem to like lose their creaminess over time, but you can see it's a really beautiful shade nonetheless. So there's what that looks like. And then lastly, for the regular shimmer shadows, we have this purple here, which is called Roxy. Just a very smooth purple. This one feels like satiny to the touch. So you can see that even though all three of those are the same category, they are quite different. And I'll say that for most of these, like the galaxy shadows, they're not consistently the same texture. So the categorizing is quite interesting in my opinion. And then next we have this matte shade and there's an airplane. So this is the shade Vector, and it's just a matte yellow. It's fine, like the pigmentation is all right. It's a little bit on the drier side, but overall, I mean, it's just a matte yellow. <laughs> if I were to recommend anything from JD Glow, it's not their mattes. Their mattes are often out of stock, and I just think that the sparklier shadows is where they are more unique. So I'm going to wipe that off real quick and we can go ahead and jump on into the Italian shadows. Okay, so we're going to start off with this shade right here, which is a really beautiful like pastel minty shimmer. It's called Nonchalant and it is so, so beautiful. Look at that, that shine. This is one of the newer shades that I've tried from them more recently, but you can see it's super sparkly and beautiful. Next, we have the shade Limelight, which is a really beautiful green gold. This one is super metallic and soft. Like, oh, it just, I wish you guys could feel this. It's just so amazing. Look at that shade. Hello, intensity. Okay, so next we have this really beautiful light purple. Very much on the soft side. It almost looks like, I don't know, maybe like a little bit of silverness to it. I think that this would be such a pretty addition to any cool toned look. It's called Roulette. I feel like my camera's not focusing as good today. I filmed an overhead video yesterday and it was living its best life. I had no issues. So hopefully this video turns out good as well, but look at that shade. Okay, next we have another really beautiful purple. This one's a little bit more vibrant and it is the shade Lavender. Look at that. Okay, next we have this beautiful kind of soft pinky silvery shade. It's called Reserved. Look at that. Stunning. And then last but not least, we have this one, which is like a bluey green. It's called Varsity. 
that one's actually quite unique. Like, it's such a beautiful tone. Oh, wow. That is so pretty. I don't know if I've swatched that one before. That is one of the prettiest shades I've ever seen, my goodness. So that is all of the Metallian shadows swatched out. Okay, so now, saving the best for last, we're gonna do the Galaxy shadows. I'm gonna start off with this row here, which is all like pinky, orangey shades. This first one is such a beautiful kind of pink with a gold shift to it. It's called Sin. So there's what Sin looks like. Next we have another really beautiful pink, but this one's more of like a, just a soft baby pink. It's called, gosh, I want to say it's called Opal. Can't even see it on there. I'm pretty sure it's Opal. And I really like using this one as a highlighter as well as a eyeshadow. It has like maybe the tiniest little bit of like a blue shift, but it's very subtle. So there's what that one looks like. Next we have another pink with a gold shift to it, but this one's definitely like a deeper pink base as you can see. This is called AKA. It's a little bit drier to the touch. Here's what that one looks like. Absolutely beautiful pink options. Okay, next we have this shade which is called Peachy Keen. And it is like an orangey peachy shade with a green reflect to it. It's a very interesting color. It's a lot more on like the satiny side as you can tell. It's not super metallic or textured. It just has that really interesting shift to it. I feel like you can see the shift even more when you see it swatched on a um, deep skin tone. I feel like on my finger you can really see the shift that Peachy Keen has. All right, next we have a orangey shade here which is called Star Luster. Again, a little bit drier to the touch. I don't really see a shift in this one all that much. It's just like a bright coral. That's what that row looks like. All right, now we're going into the blue row. We'll start off with this shade which is called Secrets. It's like a baby blue with a golden shift. There's what that one looks like. This shade reminds me of Cinderella. Super pretty. Then we have my all-time favorite shadow from JD Glow Cosmetics. This is Prismatic. It has a bright green base and a super sparkly blue shift. It's one of the coolest shadows ever. It has gotten a little bit drier over time, but look at this shade. You just can't beat that. It's phenomenal. Okay, next we have this shade here, which I believe is Bora Bora. Yes, it's a really beautiful kind of blue, green, teal moment. I mean, it's very much what I imagined the waters in Bora Bora would be. <laughs> just a super beautiful blue, green. And then next we have this shade. I want to say it's called Peacock. It is. And this one's interesting. It has like a purple base with a blue shift, but again, it's very much on the satiny side. Uh, this one was a disappointment to me, honestly. Like it's a cool shadow, but I just wish that there was more metallicness, more texture to it. And then we have another one of my favorites. This is more new to me, but it's the shade Watermark. It is the most beautiful sparkly deeper blue look at that absolutely beautiful i can't i can't with how beautiful that is okay lastly we have the row of purples here which are absolutely beautiful this one's not quite a purple it's it's a little bit like a purple base with like a bunch of like blue green kind of like taupey reflex to it. It looks a little bit more neutral. It's the shade Unexpected. It's just got a lot going on, but I threw it there because why not? It has so many shifts to it. It's such a cool shade. So there's Unexpected. Again, one of the real standouts to me. 
And then we have this shade here, which is called Good God. It's a really beautiful light purpley blue. Again, absolutely stunning. Love that one. We have this shade, which is called Plum, and it's more of just like a purple with like a light gold reflect to it. Um, it's still a bit more on the metallic side. It's not one of my absolute favorite shades, but it is nice, and I hope you can kind of see the gold sparkles happening there. Next, we have the shade Ensign, which is another purple blue shift, but this one's more of like a pinky purple kind of base. It's a really beautiful shadow. And then lastly, we have the shade Anomaly, which is another purple blue. The base on this is a little bit of a deeper purple, like indigo, rather than like a pinky purple, if that makes any sense. But this is another really, really special shade. It's super metallic. So there's what those purples look like. They are absolutely beautiful. So really quickly, the shades that I would recommend most out of this entire collection would be Prismatic to start off with. I think that's definitely the most unique. I also think Unexpected, Good God, and Anomaly really, really stand out to me. But I think I would throw in Watermark, of course, and then this shade as well right here, the shade Varsity. I think if I were going to make my very first JD Glow order, those would be the six shadows that I would go ahead and choose if I had to do this all over again. Um, and then if I had, you know, extra money, I'd probably like throw in maybe like this purple, <laughs> probably all the pinks if I'm being honest. That's my extended version of my first order if I had to do it all again. Um, so those are my favorites, but hopefully this video was helpful. I would love to know if you've tried anything from JD Glow. Um, why did I just realize that's like a little H? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and I will see you in the next one. Bye.